Why does it look like Jesus is coming in from my window? Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is so awkward. So for my first video, I thought I would do the classic get to know me video. I asked you guys questions on my Instagram and I'm gonna read through them and answer them. But this is not your regular get to know me video. I'm gonna be making banana muffins. I have these bananas. They're really ripe right now, so I need to use them. Let's get started. What is the first step in baking? If you said preheat the oven, you're wrong. We are in an Asian household, so the first step is to take out the pots and pans from the oven so my apartment doesn't blow up. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, pots and pans are out of the oven. It is preheated. Oh, you might be wondering, Jack, why is your oven covered in foil? I don't know, don't ask me, ask my mom. Butter, I have to melt the butter. Let's get the dry ingredients. Okay, let me give you some basic information first. Hi, if you don't know who I am, my name is Jack, otherwise known as okay Jack Okay on TikTok and Instagram. I am 21 years old and I was born and raised in New York City. Concrete jungle, wet dream tomato. I'm already making a mess. Baking soda, baking powder. I can't see. Oh, there are a lot of questions about my age. How old are you? How old are you? Which year were you born in? Guys, I'm 21 years old. I was born in 2001. Yes, I'm still Gen Z. That's why I make those Gen Z videos. What is my favorite color? My favorite color is pigeon blue. Whenever I tell my friends this, they look at me like I'm crazy. And they're like, what, what the heck is pigeon blue? Pigeons are not blue, they're black. They're blue and black, y'all are blind. Anyways, my favorite color is pigeon blue. If you don't know what color that is, I'll put it up on the screen right now. Isn't it so pretty? Favorite song recently? I've been obsessed with Ives songs after like Love Dive. Do you have siblings? I have a younger brother. His name is Aaron. He has an Instagram account, but he doesn't post. In my entire family, I am the only one who uses social media. Next question. What is your favorite part when making videos? When I film it exactly according to the script and it comes out exactly how I want it to, I'm very satisfied. That's what I love about making videos. Should I switch angles? Vanilla? I don't measure vanilla, I just eye it. That that seems right. I don't know. Wooden egg. Mmm. A chicken shitted that out. Your sign. Um, I am a Capricorn. Everybody hates Capricorns. Um, I don't know why. Since I'm filming a video, I'm not really paying attention to how the muffins turn out. So these might turn out really bad. K-pop, yay or nay? 100% yay. Spotify recently has only been K-pop. I don't listen to English music as of right now. Where do you get your inspirations for reels? A lot of people have asked me this question and every time I say life, sometimes I lay in bed and I stare at the ceiling and then these thoughts just come to my head. And that's how my TikToks are formed. What is your ethnicity? I am Chinese and Malaysian. My dad is Malaysian and my mom is Chinese. Are you single? Yes, I am single. I'm single and not ready to mingle. Anyways, the batter's done. Let's fill the pan. Okay, I will get back to the questions once I finish filling all of these. I wanna sit, I'm tired. All right, they're all filled, time to bake them. Bye. Okay, while we wait for the muffins to finish baking, I'm gonna answer some more questions. School? Are you asking for my school? Yeah, I go to Baruch in New York City. It's a business school, and I major in graphic design. What chapstick do you use? I actually use two things. Oh my god, I feel like a real YouTuber. This for like a red color, it makes my lip pop. And then I use like a pink Vaseline to seal it all up. Favorite K-pop group or idol? Right now it's 17. Do you have any pets or dream pets? I currently don't have any pets. I really want a cat. As much as I like dogs, I think I would get a cat because dogs are so high maintenance. My cousin has a cat. I'll put a picture up on the screen. He's so cute and he's so low maintenance. He just like walks around the house. He does nothing. Favorite season? I love fall and winter. If there's one thing you have to know about me, it's that I hate summer. Your MBTI. My MBTI is INFJ. If you're an INFJ, please comment down below because I don't have any INFJ friends. How would you describe yourself? An extroverted introvert? You guys have only seen my videos on Instagram and TikTok, so you probably think I'm this like crazy, loud, extroverted person. But in reality, I'm one of the most quiet people you would probably meet. What you see online of me is only like 1%. Extroverted introvert is a great way to describe me, I think. Any hobbies? See, a couple years ago when people asked me if I have any hobbies, I would say TikTok. But now TikTok has kind of become my job. So I don't know if I have any more hobbies. 
Baking. Oh my god, I like baking. I don't really do it as often as I want to, but I'm definitely gonna start doing it more and I definitely will film it for you guys because it just sounds fun. Baking is so fun. Besides doing reels on Instagram, what was your passion or ambition for life? I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I don't have a passion for life. I don't even know if I had a passion for life when I was young. My passion for life is to do whatever the fuck I want. What do you want to do for the rest of your life as in career? This goes in with my last answer. I really want to do just things that I like doing, like content creating, baking. <laughs> if I could do those two things for the rest of my life, I would love it. I'm a very big supporter of doing whatever you want in life instead of following what society wants you to do. What's your top three turnoffs? Um, arrogance. There's a line between being prideful and being arrogant. I hate arrogance. One, arrogance, and two, people who are extremely messy. I can't think of a third one, so I'm just gonna go with those two for now. Oh my god, I forgot about the muffins. Let's take out the muffins to defeat the Huns. Okay, even though I messed up a step, they look pretty good. We're gonna wait a little for them to cool, and then we're gonna try them. Are you born sassy itself? There was a picture of me when I was a child. Um, I'll put it up right now. Yeah, yeah, I was born sassy, probably. If you could change one thing in yourself, what would it be? P.S. You're perfect. Thank you. There are two things that come to mind. One, height. I'm 5'7", but I wish I was like 5'10 or something. Who doesn't want to be tall? And two, my face. My face is so round and I don't like it. Maybe that's just me because like, I keep looking at it. I don't like how my face looks. Anyways, enough of that. What makes you really angry? Ooh, this goes along with my uh, turnoffs. Arrogant people make me so angry inside. But it's like angry to the point where it's funny. Like I don't understand the mindset of, oh, I'm better than you are, so I'm gonna look down on you and I'm gonna be fake to you. I don't understand that. How would your friends describe you? Honestly, I think my friends would describe me the same way that I described myself before, an extroverted introvert. I match their energy, so if they're loud, I will be loud. But if they're pretty quiet, I can also be really quiet. I generally am really quiet when I'm alone anyways. How many languages do you speak? English, Cantonese, I'm learning Korean right now, and I'm gonna start Japanese again soon. If you count the fluent languages, I only speak two, but if you count the languages that I'm learning, it's three or four. What is the dumbest way you've been hurt? Ooh, so I used to play volleyball in high school. One day I was playing at a park outside. It was a concrete floor and I stepped back and I guess I tripped on my own foot or something and I fell back on my tailbone. I got a herniated disc from that and it's still not recovered today. Here is the finished banana muffin. Let's try it. I mean, it looks good. I thought I did something wrong, but it tastes fine. Anyway, let's continue answering questions. How did you build up the courage to post publicly? I've been meaning to do so for so long. I started TikTok back at the end of 2018 slash the beginning of 2019. It was during my senior year of high school. It was the second half of the year. I actually transferred out of school and did homeschooling instead because I was severely depressed. I had a lot more time on my hands and I already had TikTok downloaded because I used to have Musical.ly and Musical.ly and TikTok are the same app. It was during the time when TikTok was like looked down upon. If you told people that you had TikTok, they would be like, Oh my god, you have TikTok, that's so weird. But yeah, with all the time I had, I thought, why not make some videos? I actually started with skits, something similar to what I do now. And then I went over to do dance TikToks. <laughs> And I did that for a little while. That's how I gained a little bit of followers. And now I'm back doing skits. As for how I built the courage to post publicly, it was at that time where I started to not really care about what other people thought about me. It was the start of a very healthy mindset in terms of that. Of course there was a stage of, oh my God, what if the people I know in real life see this? Because no matter what you do on the internet, you're gonna get hate. But I find that like, it's not even hate to me. It's like, it's funny. You're taking time out of your day to comment on somebody's post. Oh, you're ugly. If you're taking time out of your day to do that to somebody else that just tells me that you're insecure there's nothing for me to worry there if you go in with a mindset of even if people see this and they say stuff about me it doesn't affect me personally it's easier said than done but don't let what people say get to your head that initial push where you post your first video once you do it you're gonna feel so relieved and it's gonna be fun i promise after eating this for a while it doesn't taste good well that was a fail do you have a country you want to visit yes i want to go to japan and korea and also china i've never left america I really want my first like international trip to just be like in Asia for like a month and just live there.
What's your type? I'm really curious. A lot of people ask me this. All my friends have asked me this at one point, and I say the same thing every single time. I don't think I have a type. And I know a lot of people say that, but I really don't think I do. I'm not looking for someone carved out by the Greek gods, you know? If you're hot and you're just like a really boring person and I can't vibe with you, I'm sorry. You become unattractive in my eyes. How's life? Life has been really good recently, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm doing well in terms of mental health, which is really rare, but I'm happy about that. How was your middle school and high school experience? Any tips? I think in middle school and high school, I was very obsessed with the idea of being popular. I was in a really small school, so there wasn't like a big difference between the popular kids and the non-popular kids or whatever. I think I was very obsessed with like social status in terms of, oh, I need to know everybody and they need to have a good image of me in their head. I overextended myself. That made up the entirety of my middle school and high school experience. As for tips, don't give up a part of yourself to please others. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't understand the people who are like, Oh my gosh, I missed the middle school, high school age. I'm sorry, I don't. I'm glad I left. Are you a Nickelodeon or Disney kid? Disney kid, 100%. My favorite Disney show is Wizards of Waverly Place. She made me who I am today. This is why I'm like this. It's because of Alex Russo. Are you okay? Do I look okay? I'm actually doing fine. Thank you for asking. Your favorite perfume. Ooh, I've used this for a while. It's the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia. I think that's how you pronounce it. What does it smell like? It smells sweet. If you're looking for one, try that one, it's really good. Do you have any hidden talents? I don't know if you can count them as talents. I can cross one of my eyes. I can do that clover thing with my mouth, with my tongue. Oh, I can make the raindrop noise with my mouth without like flicking my face. Are you ready? I guess that's a talent. I think that's gonna be it for the video. The muffins were a fail, but I hope you guys found out more about me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.